Hey YouTube, uh, I've got a special uh, knife review for you today. Um, this video is going to be of an up and coming uh, new knife maker. Uh, his name is uh, Wes, I did believe Wes Janenka, and from uh, Extinction Blades. Uh, check him out on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure he's got all his order information on there. Um, but I just got this in today, and I am absolutely blown away by it. Um, I'm going to bring out another knife for comparison. It's a lot bigger, but, you know, it's got a, it's got the curve to it. But um, that's my WTT Rex. And this is the uh, Extinction Blades um, Grendel. I mean... This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, in pictures, I was, I wouldn't say skeptical, but I was like, eh. I mean, it's a cool looking knife. I like it. Um, I wasn't sure at first if I was going to get one, and then I decided to take the plunge into it, and I am beyond uh, satisfied, beyond excited, beyond happy about this knife, I mean, it is amazing, um, so just looking at it close here, uh, this side is the lightning strike carbon fiber, and a bronzed titanium, on the other side it's got a little bit of hint of purple in it, um, pocket clip rides really far out, which I wasn't sure if I was gonna like, but, uh, makes for really easy in and out of the pocket and if you need to when you're pulling out of the pocket you can really grab onto it and get a nice pull it makes it really easy um, these fasteners are custom made um, extremely thick and beefy as is this blade it is quarter inch thick uh, S35 VN steel uh, and let's open this bad boy up. It's got some really nice detailing. As you can see, it just kind of pops out there. Lockup is great. Uh, here's the blade. It is absolutely amazing, the detail he puts into this. Uh, let's get a good close focus here. There is his symbol, W. Janeka USA, with the circle and the kind of looks like a uh, hourglass piece. Uh, not exactly sure what finishes on this part of the blade here. Looks maybe like, uh, acid stone wash, but not sure. I mean, it looks great in person. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> comparing this to pictures, there's no comparison. It is absolutely amazing in person. And then on the tip of the blade here, <clears throat> these are actually ground into the blade on both sides, goes from a bronze to a purplish anodizing um, it it just gives that little bit of detail that I almost want to say makes it a fancy blade um, but really this is a absolutely working blade I mean from how thick these fasteners are and how thick that blade is like you could probably use this as a pry bar with it, and it's just, it won't break. Um, it's got great ergonomics. This little ramp in the back here is really good for just pushing up against. It's not going to go anywhere. It's absolutely nice. Um, it's nice to get up in there. I mean, any, any way you hold it, it feels great. There's no real, even with how far that sticks out, there's no real hot spot when you squeeze down. Unless, I mean, after a while, you start to feel a little bit, but you'd be surprised how actual, actually comfortable it is. Um, and there's these grooves in the lightning strike. Just adds that nice little bit of grip that you need, because this lightning strike is just so smooth. Um, yeah, I would... I would <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Um, the blade, I believe, is two point about seven five inches long. He wanted to keep it small so that it's legal in 
all states, um, which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Uh, from pictures, I was expecting these to be a lot bigger than they are. Um, as you can see, comparing it to the T-Rex, there's quite the size difference. Um, but the T-Rex is just an enormous knife. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's very beautiful. Uh, he said they run about 750 on average. Um, I know some people here might go, wow, that's, that's pricey. But I mean, you're getting quarter inch thick S35, um, very nice detailed work. Uh, you know, you, everything is titanium besides the blade and the carbon fiber. Um, you know, the hours spent on each knife. It's definitely well worth the price because I actually have a WR Blade Works uh, knife on order and I've got it quarter inch thick S35 and uh, bolstered titanium carbon fiber. And I mean, I, you know, I've got the whole works and he said that that's probably going to take a two and a half year wait, which I still have about two years left on. Um, it's probably going to run me about 850 so like you said, on average 750 I think they can go for a little bit more. You can get ones that are tita full titanium, not carbon fiber. Um, I don't know. I opted for the carbon fiber. I just, I really like it. <laughs> um, as you can see with the WT carbon fiber. No, just carbon fiber whore, I guess. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a knife maker to check out, up and coming. Uh, this is his first, I think, line of knife. Um, I'm going to show you something, a picture on Facebook here as well. This is Extinction Blades, as you can see in the upper right hand. Uh, these, This is just uh, one picture of some of the other ones. These are all Tanto version ones. But as you can tell from top to bottom, some of them have the hump, some don't. Um, I don't know if he, if you can o custom order something uh, from him and, you know, opt to have that or not have that. But I definitely like it. I would definitely opt for the little thumb ramp for sure. Um, the bottom two are titanium, uh, full titanium handles. And then the rest are all carbon fibered. Uh, here's a picture, picture from the other side. And you can see all different colors of anodizing. Uh, so check them out. Extinction blades. You can see it up top, top right. Um, I, mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've only got a couple minutes here. But check them out. Like I said, some people are going to say... Oh my god, that's so much for a blade, but honestly, it's well worth it. Um, I know you can order a Diaware Solo V2 from Eric, um, and you'd probably be paying 6 to 6 dollars ish maybe even 7 if you're going full tie. Um, but honestly, it's like the exact opposite as far as thickness of blade and thickness of handles that Di is like the complete opposite he'll he'll give you a uh, 187,000 thick blade with quarter inch thick uh, handle slabs and I'll tell you what this definitely rides a lot easier in the pocket than a diaware uh, you know the thickness of the blade is just amazing compared to a diaware uh, I've had a Dalibor as well and this thing it's it, you know it's just not as long as either of the two um and it's not as thick but i definitely like this maybe probably more than both of those makers actually so definitely check this guy out at extinction extinction blades on facebook uh and get one of these before they're gone i mean once he blows up it'll be impossible to get one of these so definitely check him out all right guys later